In our previous video, we have shown different boiler mountings like safety valve, stop valve, feed check valve, and also their construction, different body parts, function, and its importance. This video will cover other vital mountings like fusible plug, water level indicator, pressure gauge, and manholes. There comes another valve which is known as blow-off cork valve. It is mounted at the lowest part of the boiler drum and other tubes containing water. Its main function is to discharge mud, scale and other sediments deposited in the bottom part of the water space. Blow-off cork valve facilitates removal of waste and sediments without stopping the boiler operation. It allows rapid lowering of water level in the boiler if accidentally it becomes too high. It consists of a casing having two flanges at their ends. One is attached to the boiler drum while other is attached to outlet pipe carrying blow off water. For isolating inlet and outlet pipes, it has a plug with a hole in it. Complete valve body is attached with a rotating mechanism. During normal working, when blowout is not desired, valve is kept in closed condition by rotating it such that solid part of plug comes in line with the outlet pipe. In this position, there is no discharge of water from boiler. On the other hand, when blowout of sediments is desired under boiler in working condition, the plug of blow off cork is turned in such a way that the hole in the plug comes in line with the outlet pipe. In this position, the water from boiler rushes out from the bottom of the boiler drum, which removes sediments, scale and other deposits. After required blowout, discharge of water is stopped by turning plug in previous position. Another important boiler mounting is fusible plug, which is mounted on bottom of boiler drum from inside, that is the water side. It is also called a warning device as it has potential to prevent boiler explosion. It's a simple, cheap, but effective device to protect the boiler from any damage which may occur due to overheating. Fusible plug is temperature sensitive device, not pressure. It is a threaded metallic nut and bolt type structure. Threaded bolt has a tapered hole in it, which goes through its entire length. Its body is usually made up of brass, bronze or gun metal. and tapered hole is filled with fusible alloy like lead or tin. Fusible alloy is chosen as its melting point should be lower than the body of the fusible plug. Like melting point of brass or bronze exceeds 900 degrees, uh, whereas melting point of tin and lead ranges around 230 to 330 degrees Celsius. In case supply of water to the boiler drum does not work due to any malfunction or fault and boiler is generating steam continuously, then after some time the water level in the boiler drum will decrease. If combustion continues then volume and temperature of steam will go on increasing. In such a situation, if the water level goes below the fusible plug, the fusible alloy present inside the plug gets melted, 
because of superheated steam. And then the steam from the boiler drum rushes out in the combustion chamber and disrupts the combustion. It is important to check fusible plugs periodically for any scale or deposit on its surface, as in such cases it may not work properly. Next is water level indicator, also known as water gauge. Normally, two water level indicators are fitted in the front of the boiler. Its function is to indicate water level in the boiler drum constantly. It helps operator in maintaining water level as per requirement. Water level indicator consists of a gauge glass tube with guard cover and three cocks, say steam cock, water cock and drain cock. The steam cock connects or disconnects the glass tube with a steam space. Similarly, water cock connects or disconnects glass tube with water in the boiler drum and drain cock is used to drain out water from glass tube at intervals to avoid accumulation of foral element and also to ensure that steam and water cocks are working normally. When water cock and steam cocks are in open condition, then steam enters from upper tube and water comes from the lower tube. Gauge glass indicates water and steam levels, same as it is inside the boiler drum. There is a safety mechanism provided inside in this device which prevents escape of steam or water in case gauge glass tube gets broken. Here we can see two small metal balls inside the upper and lower metal casing tubes which is used for an automatic shutoff of the steam and water supply to the gauge glass in such a case. Under normal operating condition, the balls are at rest as pressure exerted on all sides of it remains the same. In case the glass tube breaks, the pressure at the gauge glass tube will be much less than the pressure in the boiler. This pressure difference causes both the balls to move towards the end of the gauge glass tube and fit into opening of both the tubes. It thus closes the gauge glass tube ends and prevents escape of steam and water from it. Now to replace damaged or faulty glass gauge or tube is replaced by turning steam and water corks into closed position. Next mounting is pressure gauge. Its function is to measure the pressure of steam inside the boiler. The gauge is usually mounted on the front top of the shell or drum such that it should be clearly visible to the operator. Also, there's manhole on boiler drum body, which allows entry of human for maintenance and cleaning purposes during shutdown. As we can see from top view of human body, elliptical shape of hole is sufficient for human entry by optimum cutting of metal. Therefore, manholes and boiler drum are made elliptical. That's all in boiler mountings. We will cover boiler accessories in our next video. Press the bell icon for notifications and stay tuned.